Hi beautiful souls, this is Ashna with Divine Soul Resonance welcoming you all to my channel with all my love and all my heart. Today I'm starting a series of what's coming forth in 2021. 2021 carries the energy of the number five. And I've been seeing a lot of the vibes and the energy of change has been around me quite strongly. So today in this reading, I'm going to look at what is this energy of change in 2021. Number five is the energy of 2221. Number five. Five is a fifth chakra, a throat chakra, our authentic self-expression, our outward expression into the world. How are we vocalizing ourselves? What is our soul song, our self-expression? How are we expressing our individuality? What is our inner voice? Are we asserting ourselves in the world? Are we allowing our soul and our inner voice to touch and be expressed out into the world? Energy of five. Energy of change. We've seen this a lot in 2020 where our stability has been shook to the core. What are our core beliefs? What do we stand for? Can we really control anything? Who are we? Is there anything in our control at all? How much more do I need to change? What is expected of me? What can I do? I don't know what to do. I don't know what's going on. The energy of change is coming in 2021. So as this year is wrapping up, we are beginning to see what this is here. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. So there is a movement that's taking place within us, around us. We begin to notice change normally when we see an external environment change, which is what we're seeing. Change in the political climate, change in the financial climate, change in the health climate, change in how we interact with one another. Can we go one place? Can we not go one place? No longer can we do the things that we thought we, we once could. Will things ever come back to what they were? Can they ever come back to what they were? Should they ever come back to what they were? We are always on an evolutionary journey. And 2020 marks a beginning of a new journey, a new era of soul's evolution and growth. The ever-changing wheel. There's a lot of orange here sacral energy, releasing of guilt, excesses, entrapments, till it cleanses out and there is authentic self-expression of our deepest inner truths. As a child, this is creative energy. The divine child. You are this divine child. Through this chaos, through this shift, through these breakdown of structures, relationships, jobs, foundations, belief systems of what we've always known, held on to. Perhaps they were serving as a certain comfort zone. 2021 asks us to reconnect with that inner child that playful energy, the innocence, what makes your heart sing with joy, what brings happiness in this moment. 
simply, innocently, just like a child. With the world as a playground, through the eyes of innocence, the divine child. Also in this deck is the Hierophant, our inner guru, our inner spirituality. A child is not thinking, what is my religion? What is my job? What am I wearing? Who is around me? It just is playful, loving, exploring, creating. Because a child is completely one with the source. Let us see how we can be more expressive of our inner truth and embrace and begin to embrace this change. How we can do that? How can we do that as 2020 approaches? Thank you. First energy. Abundance. You're being reminded to shift in your mind, shifting in your mindset. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. For you are a divine child. A child does not feel they're limited unless told otherwise. It just is, plays. All this abundance is around you as we connect with our inner self to just be to just be. Abundance is around us, within us, above us. As we speak our heart's truth and we are connected to the infinite source energy, there is this depth of connection that we have. And this depth of connection is what opens the portals of abundance because it always was open. There was nothing to open and close. We just begin to peel those layers and the mystery unfolds. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement and I'm moving into abundance. For I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. How can we come more in alignment with our heart's truth and be in this flow of the limitless abundance? How can we change and bring forth our heart's desire and this infinite abundance and manifest it all in this physical reality? In 2021, 2021. Again, I see this energy of nurturing and a child. Do you see that? How can we come in that source abundance? Two messages. Two messages. Honor the mother element. Honor mother earth. Take care of how you're responding to the environment. To what we are consuming, environmentalism, taking great care of how we connect with our Mother Earth, to the oceans, to the mountains, to the earth. Looking at all the abundances around us, it is in connection to this primordial energy that you begin, do you see this? There is a circle here. There is a circle here, and then there is a circle here. All of it is in this infinite pool through which you can draw anything into physicality. Rebirthing of yourself. So in this coming year, connect with your own mother, mother figure, your grandmother, mother-like, grandmother-like, sisters. So connecting with the feminine energy, male or female, doesn't matter, is going to deepen your connection with the element, the nurturing element. As you feel nurtured and you nurture another, you grow into wholeness, 
you bring about a change, for you bring about a deeper connection. As you bring about that deeper connection within you, you begin to have a deeper connection with things that seem outside of you. And everything begins to amalgamate as one. As one. What energy will most assist the people in expressing, in vocalization, in individuality in 2021? In 2021. The sage says Jupiter. I'm not into astrology, but I was drawn to this archetypal deck. You are wise. You have tremendous wisdom within you. Just like this owl here. It's innate. It's within you. Every life experience has led you, has brought you more light, more depth. Speak that. Express that. Your colors are your unique colors. How you are is only you. No one else. Neither your parents, nor your siblings, nor your friends, nor your children. No one else. And your mantra for 2021 is, The truth will set me free. The truth will set me free. You are inspired and seek inspiration from those you feel deeply connected with at the heart level. For they're going to bring you more in alignment with who you are. They'll help you to vocalize. They'll help you to see your unique colors, your own wisdom. I'm seeing a big expansion in this year with this energy of change. There'll be many choices so try out. Don't be afraid to try out a few different things. You may decide to start with something and you may change. You may change that over the course of the year. Think of it and look at it as, um, let me see if I want to play the piano. You try playing the piano, you get the feel for it, and then you say, okay, perhaps I think I want to start, try some string instruments or perhaps I want to move into being an artist doesn't mean you're being fickle-minded. Look at it like a, from the eyes of a divine child. The many, many options, many roads are going to open up in this year for you. Many different ways to express your authentic self. Do not copycat another person. You don't need to. You don't need to. Create your own. Create through your own individuality, your own color, your own flavor. So don't be afraid if you are trying out a few different things in this coming year. Okay? Because it's going to, I'm feeling that it's going to help you sharpen. It's going to help you see. It's going to help you develop more and get you more in a tune with your true authentic self. Okay? But the key for this year is to be truthful. To be truthful let that be authentic self-expression not because every person on youtube is doing this therefore i should do this therefore i will get more numbers therefore i will do that no your self-expression your unique song you're wise you're wise and you're spiritual far more than what you give yourself credit for far more than what you see in yourself. How do we express our individuality and our inner voice and expand in this year of 2021? How do we do that? Connections and friendships. That's the energy that's come through. Through connecting with one another Mother Earth, maybe your soul tribe. You'll be intuitively guided. You are intuitive. Connecting with your soul tribe. Connecting with like-minded people. You see, there's a connection here. There's a connection in the air element. There's a connection in the water element. Everything is, I'm seeing a lot of healing energy here. I'm seeing a lot of coming together. I'm seeing a lot of coming together of polarities 
and understanding each other's viewpoints and raising the vibration by helping one another grow. Singing and singing our own song with love. I see that here, friendships. So you're going to be developing, it's going to help you to connect with your friends. Special friends are there to help me and bring me the strength during the challenging times. Help others see their light. Help others see when they are facing the darker shadows. We've seen a lot of that in 2020. A lot of breakdown, internal, mental, emotional, psychological, financial, emotional. So it's time for a rebirthing. Let's reconnect at the heart. Let's, let's be friends. That will help in this coming year. How can we open up more to our creativity in 2021? Our creative play, like this divine child? 2021. Oh, two wanted to come? I will take them. Now, isn't this synchronistic? I kept talking about the fifth chakra, the throat chakra, and I said divine child. This is, again, the fifth chakra. Speaking your authentic self. <laughs> There's healing that's taking place here. You will be expressing a lot. Some of you will speak, meaning speak through your inner wisdom, what you've gained, like speakers, writing, songs. So I'm feeling like a lot of musicians. I'm picking that energy up right now. Musicians, music, authentic expression through voice. That's a big message for, yeah, that's a big message that I'm picking up right now. Writing blogs. Writing. I'm seeing writing and singing a lot. So if you're not, if you're not like a musician, you're not like a writer, um, which is a public writer, I'm feeling express through journaling. I'm really feeling writing a lot here today, right now. Writing, expressing, uh, journaling, um, blogging, singing, for sure, for sure, for sure. So don't wait. Another message that's coming through. Don't wait for your songs to have that perfect note, the perfect thing. You're this divine child. Whatever you create is perfect, is perfect. Let it be that perfect imperfection. Release it. Let that energy flow. Let that flow of energy come through. Don't let it stagnate in the sacral chakra. Allow that energy to flow through. So express. Don't just tear that piece of paper that you wrote. Oh, this is not a perfect writing. This is not a perfect song. Sing. You have a few notes? Put that out there. You'll bring a smile. You'll, you'll lift other people's hearts that you cannot see. Because you have that gift. You do. You have a healing gift. What is this? The sun. A lot of playtime. <laughs> Abundance. Expressing emotionally. Expressing emotionally. And this is the card of individuality. Card number one. Self-expression individual self-expression again I see a child birthing of the divine feminine energy emotional fulfillment and the Sun as the divine masculine energy shining upon the feminine energy of flow again I'm drawn to books so reading writing speaking speech writing songwriting screenwriting uh, movies it, it just all of this is coming forth Yes, trumpets are here. So definitely <laughs> music, music self-expression is, um, is big here on the cards. And I see an artist's brush. So for sure, draw and express. Release. There's a bird here that's caged. And I see this bird here that's singing. Releasing that. There's an emotional... There's an emotional release that's taking place in this coming year. Beautiful. 
beautiful energy. How can we bring forth more of this heart healing and individualized self-expression in 2021, angels? Overcoming fears, phobias, overcoming past fears of what has been, perhaps past persecution, perhaps you've been put down. That's, that's why it's the inner child healing in this coming year. So the big message that's coming forth through all of this is be bold and allow for this change to take place. What once was, grow out, that's the inner, the most important energy or the biggest energy that I'm drawn to right now with self-expression here for 2021 is the energy of the Jupiter here. The truth is going to set me free. You're wise, you're wealthy, you're gracious, you're intuitive, you're inspired, emotionally intelligent, self-reflective, truth-seeking, expansive. So, so when we are looking at expansion and you're looking at shift, you're looking at abundance, you're looking at how your friends were, looking at everything is allow for that cycle of birth and rebirth to take place, allow that death to come through, the, the death of the old, so you may sing this new song. Once again, be reborn as this child to experience life in fullness, in lightness, in its all its glory and color. Your inner light. Allow your inner light to shine. Overcoming the past wounds, the past fears, the phobias, right? That have held us back. What has limited the abundance? Woundings of the past, didn't get enough love, didn't get enough recognition was chided, was thwarted in my singing. I was not allowed to speak. I was not allowed to express myself. So I clamped myself back. This phobia, releasing that. There's a change, there's a birthing. We're growing from this. We're growing from these experiences. Once again, to be reborn as this divine child. For the sun is shining upon you. There is limitless abundance around us, within us. We are all connected, loving one another. In this primordial waters and depths of the universe, of God, of oneness, allow this change to guide you to your highest self-expression. May 2021 bring forth your highest self-expression and tremendous abundance and growth. This is Arshna with Divine Soul Resonance and I will talk to you soon.